Welcome to Black History Heroes Podcast. Today we will speak about an important figure in African American history, Denmark Vesey. Denmark Vesey claimed a place in history by organizing the first extensive slave revolt in America. This occurred in Charleston, South Carolina in 1822. The plot was simple but daring. Seize the city, kill all who stood in the way, and if necessary, escape to the Caribbean or Africa. Denmark Vesey was born in 1767 to unknown parents, possibly in the West Indies. In 1781, Captain Joseph Vesey, a slave agent, captured him and brought him to San Domingo. Vesey's intelligence and appearance impressed the agent, but he sold him anyway. When young Denmark faked a seizure in the sugar fields, he was considered unsound, and he was returned to Captain Vesey. He joined Vesey's stable of African slaves, first on slave trading voyages to China and then in Charleston, South Carolina. Mr. Vesey proved to be a diligent worker and mastered the carpentry trade. In 1800, when he was 33, Denmark won $1,500 in a lottery and used $600 of it to purchase his freedom. He earned his living as a carpenter and earned the respect of his peers. He became a lay reader in the newly established African Methodist Episcopal Church. Despite having won his freedom, Vesey bemoaned the plight of the slaves still in bondage around him. He became inspired by reports of Toussaint Louverture's slave revolt in Haiti and pledged to lead a similar insurrection. Using the church as a base, he secretly organized, recruited, and mobilized slaves in the Charleston area. For the next five years, he planned the revolt until he had organized a 9,000-member army of slaves and freedmen, consisting of those within 100 miles of Charleston, as well as a band of slaves from Thomas Island. An arsenal of weapons and vehicles had also been acquired to aid in the revolt. At first, the date set to begin the insurrection was July 14, 1822, a night with no moon, a vacation time for whites, and a Sunday when plantation hands would arouse no suspicion by being in the city. The insurrectionists were to seize all key places, such as arsenals and bridges, and eventually make their escape to San Domingo, which was in the Dominican Republic. The plot seemed fail safe because the leaders had exercised extreme secrecy and had avoided interaction with trusty African slaves who might leak plans to white slave masters. Despite the utmost care, the plot was uncovered by a slave who told his master. The date was moved up to June 16th. Again, the secrecy was betrayed. Seeing the carefully mapped out plan ruined, Vesey tried unsuccessfully to get word to other units. But white authorities moved fast, arresting key plotters. By June 22nd, Vesey was found at the home of an ex wife and was arrested. He and others stood trial on June 23rd, 1822, and were hung July 2nd, 1822. Before the trial ended, a total of 35 were hanged, 38 were released for lack of evidence, 15 were acquitted, and 43 were sentenced to deportation. The informers were given their freedom. They were also given lifetime support. Vesey became a symbol of martyrdom and the cause of liberty, for as the chief judge said at Vesey's trial, quote, it is difficult to imagine what infatuation could have prompted you to attempt an enterprise so wild and visionary. You were a free man, were comparatively wealthy, and enjoyed every comfort. You had, therefore, much to risk and little to gain. Fessy's martyrdom has not faded in the many decades since 1822. History has judged him as a brave and visionary African-American. Typical is the judgment of historian Sterling Stuckey. Quote, 
Denmark Dessy did lead a conspiracy which must be regarded as one of the most courageous ever to threaten the racist foundation of America. He stands today as he stood yesterday as an awesome projection of the possibilities for militant action on the part of a people who have for centuries been made to bow down in fear, end quote. And that is our podcast for the day, Denmark Vesey, 1767 to 1822. Visit us at blackhistoryheroes.com and learn more about African-American history.